Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to control your older Nanlite products that don't have Bluetooth connectivity built in with the Nanlink app. So even if you have an older product like the Mix Panel 150 or the Forza 300B that don't have Bluetooth connectivity that allow you to connect directly to the app, you'll actually be able to use this, the Nanlite WSTV1 wireless transmitter box. This allows you to connect older lights via 2.4G and then this connects via Bluetooth to the app. The newer products made by Nanlite have both 2.4G and Bluetooth built in. For example, the X Series 2 Pavel tubes that are behind me, these blue ones, these can connect directly to the app. But if you have lights that can't, this is going to be an easy tutorial on how to set it up. Now, obviously, you're going to need this box that I mentioned, and it's actually very affordable. It retails for about $80 to $90. And honestly, I highly recommend it because it makes controlling multiple lights a breeze. Now, when you purchase the box, it does come with a flash drive, and then you have to go to the Nanlite website to download the latest firmware update and then install it. It does have instructions on the website. So now I'm going to assume that you have your box up to date, and now we're going to connect it to the Nanlink app. The first thing we're going to do is turn on the box, make sure that it has battery. Go ahead and turn it on with the switch. Now, it does have these blue LED lights here. If it's flashing, that means it's not connected to anything. The Bluetooth is discoverable, and you can actually connect it to an app. And you can see the Bluetooth icons going up. Then you're going to go to your lights that you want to connect to the app. You're going to go into the menu and you're going to change the address, which is the channel. And you have to make sure that each light is on a separate channel. So for me, I have this Mix Panel 150 set to channel 3 and I have this Forza 300B set to channel 1. Again, you do that manually in the menu system of these lights. Now we're going to go to the Nanlink app and we're going to create a scene. So we're going to go to the top left corner, click on the options, click new scene, and I'm going to call this box create. Now we're going to go into that scene. So click that. Now don't click to add a new fixture. Go to the top right corner to the menu button, click that, and then click on transmitter box. Here you see nothing showing up because we haven't connected one yet. Click on the plus symbol on the top right corner, then click on via Bluetooth. And then now the box should pop up. And there it is. We see it there. Go ahead and select that and click done. Give it a few seconds. And then it's going to connect to the box. Now that the box is connected, we're going to go back. Now we're going to add a fixture. Click on the plus symbol in the middle. Now with all the new lights, you connect via Bluetooth. But with the older lights that are connecting to the box, we have to connect via 2.4G. And then you'll see that it says transmitter box required. Now we already have one and it's already connected. So click on via 2.4G. Now this is very important. When it says LED type, there are three different types that you can choose from. And you have to make sure that you choose the right one for the right light. For example, the 300B is a bicolor light. The Mix Panel 150 is a full color light. If I choose the wrong one when connecting a light, it's not going to give me all the available parameters to adjust. So make sure you know what kind of light you're connecting. Let's start off with the Forza 300B. This is a bicolor light, so I'm going to select that. You also have to know the range of your light, which honestly, I don't know. Let me go check it. Okay, so the 300B can do 2700 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin. Now we have to make sure that we choose that here on the CCT range. And right here, it's the second option. Then we're going to put channel number. Now, like I said earlier, that 300B, I've set it manually to channel one. So I'm going to press one, then go down and you can give it a name. You can call it the name of the fixture or anything you really want. I'm going to call it 300B1, then go ahead and click done. And then at the bottom, click done and you'll connect that light. Now you do see here that we have the ability to add another fixture. So you can actually add multiple fixtures at once. However, if you click on that, you'll see that it doesn't allow you to select all the options. So when you add a new fixture, it's a new fixture with the same features by color 2700 to 6500 Kelvin or whatever you selected. So I would only use that if you're trying to connect another one of the exact same type of light. Since the mix panel is full color, I'm going to have to add that one manually after this one's connected. So I'm going to click the X to get rid of that second fixture and just go ahead and connect this first fixture. Click done. And there it is. Now 300B1 is on this scene and now I can control it fully on here. So let's go ahead and click on it. And now we're at 5600 Kelvin right now. Let's start to increase brightness. There it is. I can go ahead and move the slider. Ooh, I forgot how bright this light is. That's crazy. Change the color temperature. And then if we click on CCT mode, we can go into the effect mode, click on CCT loop. And now we can go into whatever options are available for this light. As you can see, it doesn't have full color effects on here. It has really only the effects that are available for this light, which is really awesome. So let's go to candle fire, which I always love. And then if you want to save a preset, click the heart with the plus symbol on the top 
and then you can save the preset and all the parameters you've adjusted will then be saved. And if you want to recall that preset, you click on effect mode, click on preset, and then any presets you've saved will be here. You can select them, click enter, and then now it'll recall whatever setting you saved in that preset. So we're going to go back to CCT. Let's go down to 1% output and let's go to 5600 Kelvin to match the rest of the room. Now I'm going to click back and now we're going to add the mix panel 150. So we're going to click on the options button on the top right corner and put new fixture. Connect via 2.4G. This is a full color light, so I'm going to select that. And the range on this one, I don't know. Let me check the back of it. Okay, so the mix panel 150 does 2700 to 7500 Kelvin. Now here you'll see another parameter that pops up with full color lights. For GM, for green magenta shift, you actually have to choose if it's adjustable or not. Some full color lights from Nanlite will not allow you to adjust the green magenta. These can, so I'm going to make sure that I click on adjustable. And now channel, like I said earlier, this is channel 3. And now I'm going to call this MP151 because I have multiple mix panels. Click done, click done. And now you can see under my fixtures, I have both lights now here. So I can adjust them each individually. I have to just go into the sub menu of that light. So if I click on MP151, now I'm going to have all the parameters I can adjust. So let's put the dim up. Let's change the green magenta. Yeah, let's go into HSI mode. Again, this is a full color. I'm going to bring that brightness down a little bit. Let's go to full colors. Adjusting all with the app. Awesome. Let's go into effect mode. Let's turn on police car. Let's put the speed faster. Let's change the effect to disco. Let's change the effect again. Let's go to firework. Let's go into Hue Loop. And now let's just go back into HSI mode and let's make that red. Now, if you wanted to save a preset, again, you can click on the heart plus symbol and any settings that you've adjusted will be saved in that preset, whether it's CCT mode, HSI, effect mode, etc. If you want to connect more lights that don't have Bluetooth, then just follow these steps and connect to the scene with this box and you'll be able to control all your Nanlite products that have 2.4G. It really is awesome and I highly recommend it, especially if you have multiple lights. This is the fastest and easiest way to get things going. I've been controlling all of my NAND lights with the NANLINK app. It's made my workflow so much faster. I highly recommend it. If you're interested in getting the WSTV1 transmitter, I do have a link in the description where you can purchase it. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Also, I do have other tutorials on this channel where I show you how to control the X-Series Pavel tubes via Bluetooth or the Forza 60B via Bluetooth. I have tutorials on firmware updates, etc. So please make sure to check out the rest of my videos on this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.